Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Showcom Mods. I'm Julian and I'm going to be modifying the Alpha Trooper CS18 and I'm going to be installing the Orange Mod Works Massacre Kit. So let's get going with the gun. First off, you want to take all the attachments off. Take your bottom clip or dart off. If you have any attachments, just take it off. And then we're going to have to unscrew it. So first, we're going to have to unscrew this piece right here because this piece holds the whole gun together. So let's get this off. So now I have to pull that off. You might hit some stuff around. Now we have to unscrew this piece right here next. The the other part that holds the gun together. So let's do this. Just took this part. There should be about four screws under the grip right here. So let's get these up. Okay, so I think I have taken all of the screws out, so you just want to pull this apart and watch out for flying screws coming to your eyes, or not really screws. Okay, looks like nothing flew. Perfect. Before we get into the gun, let's do a breakdown of these parts. This is the plunger tube right here, and then let's open this bag up real quick. If I can, this is the 5 kg spring, the plunger, the um, sled, silicone grease, which you can grease the barrel with, or the plunger tube, and stuff. It gives you a manual, which is pretty helpful, somewhat of a manual. The catch, two catch springs, and two catch springs, an O-ring, and the reinforcement plate for for this piece right here. Okay, let's so let's put all this piece together. Um, you're gonna see another O-ring inside of here. That's not an extra one. You have to keep this in here. So first, we have to put another o-ring and stretch it around this the back of the plunger tube right here and this piece it goes in a little slot and then right here we have to put this together just like that oh, you have to put that in a little hole and then you put this through the little bar that comes with it you push it through and it should go all the way There we go. And it's a little wobbly, but that's normal. So now that we've put this together, uh, we're gonna have to take this piece off right here. There's a screw down here. Let's take this off. Okay, so you're gonna have to take this piece off right here. A little hassle. Okay, so now we're gonna have to um, Cock this back. Well, first take off out the spring right here. Can. You can take the plunger tube off right here. Pull this back. I'm gonna have to push all this down. Might be a little bit of a hassle. Here we go. Oh, you have to take this off. That's my problem. Okay. So that's this piece, and this piece, and it's very greasy. And so now we're gonna have to take off, right here is the bar that connects to the handle so you can cock it right through there. And so we're gonna have to take this screw off right here. Let's see this. Okay, so let's take this, I'm going to put it aside for now, 
end this piece over here. So now we're gonna have to um, get this piece right here. The plunger, uh, the plunger tube that's connected to this piece. You're gonna have to put this thing in, back inside of this, just so it's in the exact position as it was on the other. Screw it on. Okay, let's put uh, some silicone grease around this uh, the O-ring right here. Put a lot on. Okay, so I put a lot on, as you can probably see. So now I'm gonna stick through there. Get it around. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so uh, now I'm gonna have to uh, put this piece right on here. I'm gonna have to force uh, this bar, the metal bar thing. It's kind of a hassle to get the spec in. And it seems like you're gonna break it. Um, put it under this piece right in here. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, so it's getting locked into its positions with this stuff. If you want to familiarize yourself with all this, I'd rec recommend that you do so you know how the gun works. So you can fix it in the future. Okay, so now we're going to have to put this piece on here. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, it is very loose. Oh. Okay. I have to put this spring that it comes with. It's kind of hard. Oh, it goes this way. Yeah, okay, there we go. That stays right in there. That's the right way that this piece goes. Nice and thick. So, oh, okay. No, oh, I can't see what good friends are doing. Come on. Okay, so now let's get the new spring, slide it through in between these, right there, and right on there, and wow, that's powerful. Okay, now just if you are missing any spring, you don't want to put this piece on right here. This piece, the top piece that sticks it on, okay. I figured this out. Uh, this piece, the spring right here, fits on here. Put this in here. There'll be a this slot piece will fit right inside of the gun right here. So you have to put that right there. Then this piece goes under or in between the two sides of this. Goes inside here. And then you find your screw for it right in there. With this piece, I already modified this small piece right here. I cut off this on the front of it, so now I can un so I can pull this back whenever I want, even when it's cocked. So I'm gonna put this right in here, right on the slide. Okay, put this right here, again, because it keeps falling off. Okay, so this is a thing, and we're going to be putting the reinforcement plate on it, right here. The thingy, thing, thing. So I'm pushing it down and oh, the spring's sticking out. Okay. Okay, so put this thingy on here. Let's go.
Now you put this piece right in here. Let's screw these on. Well, first you should screw these on. So I'm gonna uh, only put a few screws in here, like uh, one on the handle and a couple around the gun, just so I can test it before I put all those screws in. Just to see if it actually works. Cause if it doesn't work, cause I don't, I don't wanna have to take all the screws back out again. So let's put the clip in. See if that works. I'm gonna push it couple back. Did it work? Seems to have. But clip in. Pop forward. Seems to have a little bit of a knot right here. And then you shoot. Okay, it works. Oh, no. <laughs> it works just fine. So let's put the rest of the screws in. Okay, so now I've finished screwing it together. Let's go test it. Okay, so we have two tapes lined up after 25 feet. That equals up to 56 feet. So, Okay, so the effective range in the unmodified version of this gun is about 23 feet. Okay, so the first dark you see landed over here only because I bounced them off this wall. The rest of them landed at 45 feet, uh, but obviously the bounce. So the effective range is about 40 feet, which gives you an extra almost 20 feet, which is really worth it. So I definitely recommend this mod. Thanks for watching Nerf Soulcom Mods for the Alpha Trooper CS18 Orange Modworks Massacre Kit. See the link in the description for the awesome kit. So, see you guys next time.